challenge is going to be walk the pattern on foot. A lot of times I know you want to practice the barrels more for you than you need it for your horse. So this allows you to really get your muscle memory down at a walk on foot so you can see what exactly it is you need to do when and without overschooling your horse. So even on a day where you can't get on your horse, maybe you just lunged them, you can still do this. So I want you to be very specific, just like you would in the, in the saddle. And it may seem silly to you, but it really helps because it's mimicking everything you want. Your go cue, your rate cue, your turn cue, your shape cue. So let's say you have a free runner. This allows you to sit early and think about bumping. If you have your push horse, it makes you think about keeping those reins forward and driving them in there. It helps you to think about riding to your spots and shaping as you get there. Um, I want you to really get specific. The more you, in your mind and in your muscle memory, are specific, the more consistent you are as a jockey, under pressure, and then the easier it is for your horse to do their job because you're being at your best under pressure. Okay? So I'm just going to mimic this on a standard type horse that, you know, is a free runner, they hunt a barrel, they turn a barrel. And I just want to be specific. Alright? So again, in the alleyway, I'm lining up with my third barrel. I'm riding my horse two hands. As I approach here, I'm going to sit for my race. As I get to spot one, I'm going to go to the horn, look at spot two. I'm just keeping my hand low. I may shape and release if he needs it. Keep my hand down. Right here, I'm going to do a quick inside hand, inside hip, and then I'm going to give it right back to him. Hold up on the horn back to two hands. Step in my outside stirrup if I need to. Sit down, go to the horn, spot one. Keep that hand low, spot two. Ride that hip to the back side. Got to get my hip all the way to here. Then inside hip, inhale, outside leg, boom. Back up on that horn, back to two hands. Sit down, go to the horn, inside leg if I need it. Get my hand back down, ride to the back side. When I get clear, inside hand, hip, outside leg. Hold on the horn, back to two hands. The more I mimic my run all the way to the eye, boom, the more it's going to become consistent. So you might think this is silly to do for a grown woman, but it's not. You know, kids play all the time like this. If you ride one hand through the pattern, practice that. Practice holding a horn. Uh, if you ride two hands between and one hand around, practice that. If you have to drive into the hole, practice sitting up, reins forward, and using your legs up there. Really visualize what you need. If you have to sit early and check, practice that. But this way, you get it down in your muscle memory before you get on your horse. So I hope you enjoy this drill. It really is helpful. It really does help with your muscle memory and being more specific. Set up your cones for one and two, spot one and two. And make sure you're looking and riding to those spots. So good luck with this skill this week.